Hey everybody, it's Joe from HomeStudioCorner.com and today I want to talk about USB latency. If you've ever dealt with a USB audio interface then you know that dealing with the latency just when you're recording the time that it takes for when you sing the note or play the note on guitar and the time it comes back to your headphones can be pretty noticeable. It can be a significant delay so much that it affects your performance. So if you use something like this guy here, this is the Inbox 2 Mini. Uh, I've got a 003 rig for my normal rig, and I've got this guy for um, portable stuff. But it's a USB device, as you can see there. So it has its issues. It's USB 1.1, which most interfaces are, and it will cause some latency when you're recording. Now I'm going to show you a way that you can get around that. Um, and the important thing to remember uh, for this tip is this knob right here. You see that? I don't know if you can tell but this is labeled mix. Now what that is, it's a mix between the sound of the microphone plugged into the back and the sound of whatever else is playing back from Pro Tools. And a lot of USB interfaces and even some FireWire interfaces will have that on there. So that'll be helpful, we'll come to that in a second. We're gonna hop over into Pro Tools and take a look and uh, show you exactly what I'm talking about, all right? Okay, so we're in Pro Tools. We've got a vocal track here set to the microphone input and we're ready to record. Now, because we're on maybe a slower computer or something like that, we have to have our buffer settings set a little bit a little bit high to just allow Pro Tools to process the audio. But what this can do is cause a delay in the recorded signal. So I hit record and I start to sing, and suddenly I hear this slapback delay. What I'm hearing is my vocal from just me singing it or my guitar from me playing it, but then I hear it in the headphones a few milliseconds later really can throw off your timing and can be really frustrating if you're just getting into it. Now, the solution that they've given you on these boxes is a mix knob. And what I have, I have it turned all the way to the left, which lets me hear just what's on, or just what's coming into the inbox, which was my vocal. Now, there's a problem with that because now if I hit play, I can't hear the guitars because I have to turn the knob all the way to the right to hear the guitars. And when I do that, there's a delay in the vocal. So I can't sing with that. So it's almost an unsolvable issue to some degree. So I hit play. Now I can see there's guitars there, but I can't hear them because my, the knob's turned all the way this way. If I turn it back to hear the guitars, you'll hear that the vocal becomes smeared and has that delay. So I just can't really sing along with this either. So what's the solution? What you do is actually come in and mute this track and my voice is going to go away. You can't hear me yet. Oh, you can still hear me. And now... Since I have it turned all the way to the left, we can still hear the vocal. Still hear the vocal because I have it all the way on the left, which is the direct in. But now, as I turn this back to the right, you can still hear my vocal. And I can hit play, and now we've got guitar. So I can turn it left to right to adjust the balance, and I can hear it exactly as soon as I'm saying it. So now I can come in and start singing and record the vocal track. So there you go. It's a um, pretty simple trick. You just hit mute, and... Um, adjust the mix knob here so that you can hear everything. Another thing real quickly you'll want to do is if you're using a reverb you want to do a pre-fade send because since it's muted here it's not going to send to the reverb as you can see it's not sending. If I go pre-fade suddenly there it is there's a reverb. Alright there you go if you have any questions head back over to the website homestudiocorner.com if you're watching this on YouTube head over there leave a comment if you have questions and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.